Yo, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mark is pretty much gapping up. Um, so hopefully, I'm hoping that we hold, but definitely some potential plays back down on TLM. Um, Tesla swing, uh, as people as people are funneling in. Tesla swing, uh, looking solid for me. Um, kind of see nice little gap up. Um, I originally have my target set here, but that was for like a day trade. Um, I think I have sorry here at 172. That was for the day trade. I might still just get out there. I'm I'm still debating on what I want to do. Um, I'm still really debating on it. Um, we'll see how we see what we are we are when we open. Um, obviously they're talking about Google in the chat. Let's look at it. Uh, yes, Google could be an awesome potential play. Kind of bounce from demand, get up. Yes, could be fantastic. Um, that's the thing I don't really want to short, but like Microsoft would be a potential short, right? I don't really want to. These are both swings that I'm in. Um, so uh, they're not really on the day trading watch list. You could technically trade Tesla back down. Nah, not really. You could, I would trade it rather bounce off this demand, but uh, AMD looks solid. If Luke, if Luke, you're in here, um, what you said about AMD is is correct. You are plotting it right. Um, I'll reply to your message. Uh, yeah, I kind of had that same kind of balance zone there. But um, at the end of the day, I don't know if playing a balance rotation back down is the play. Um, just because you you typically want to play with the higher time frame trend. Um, Shopify probably staying away. Yesterday was a pretty trend day. Q's, I mean, Q and Spice will be hard because of the gap up. Um, QCOM had a rip yesterday, so probably won't touch it. Uh, let's look at Apple. Apple, I think, has potential um to the to the upside I, I would rather play to the upside we'll see if we i would love to open up inside but what i was looking for like on apple would be a potential again stay inside right kind of sell off i really no you could definitely short this i mean we have demand down there let's look at like a five minute like we have like a five minute demand right here So shorting this isn't like the worst idea. But we also have high forms low, form strong low with a break. Uh, we'll see. Uh, that'll be like a neutral. I Let's just keep that at neutral. Uh, let's look at... Um, IWM, nice balance. Uh, we had a pretty good trend yesterday, but ended up the day in balance. Where are we gapping up to? Uh, where are we at right now? We're up like a lot, right? Yeah, probably won't touch that. Roku, again, it's kind of staying that balance. Finally gapped up, actually. Um, probably won't touch Roku. You, you could potentially play a TLM play if we come back down, but we're gapping up into supply, so we want to be careful for longs. Boeing could be okay. This shit was pretty trendy down. Um, Let's add it just to see. I don't think I'll take a trade there. Meta, gapping way up, not gonna be playable as usual. When it's playable, it happens too fast. And then other than that, it just gaps up. Uh, Nike has potential. Um, I think we added to the watch just a few days ago. Um, really either way, actually. Which kind of depends on which way we pop out, right? But I'm leaning more to the upside. But we do have some equal lows right here. So I'd love to see those equal lows be swept. Um, kind of just a, a boom. Just accept inside, short back down. Um, and then what else we got? Mara. Nah. MU, Micro, nah. Disney, pretty big trend day yesterday. NVIDIA. Um, this could be something. Okay, this could be something here. Um, well, only 15 people in today. Yeah, 
We got the, the faithful in today. Are you guys looking at anything specifically? Literally the right 15. The 15 that are grinders, bro. That show up every freaking day. That's what it takes. I'm telling you. Got to show up every day. Oh, now we got 16. No, we still got 15. I'm gonna. I'm not letting any more than 15 people in. I'm gonna kick them out. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Nvidia could be something. Um, Nvidia could be something. We we do have that higher time frame balance that I just uh, got rid of, but it could be something to the downside. But it's kind of that same chart where, you know, we're kind of starting that uptrend. You know, so I want to be careful with it. I'll just, I'm just gonna move it up, but I don't know if I'll touch it. Oh, thank you. Boom. Um, bye bye. No, Starbucks. Starbucks could be nice. Starbucks could be something. Take a look. We'll take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks is an awesome uh, dividend growth stock um, for you guys. Um, nice. Rad on into 50. We got 18 now, so we're, we're good. Um, but really it's, it's super undervalued too. Um, I think if I have my intrinsic value typed in here, not, yeah. So I have it, I have it valued at 96 bucks. So pretty undervalued. Um, basically obviously what that means is anything above 96 bucks could be considered a selling anything below is a buy. Um, but this is like the fair value. Intrinsic value is kind of that fair value. <laughs> Stuff. I'm seeing on here is saying we don't have any subs or alts. That was loud. Um, Tesla open or market opened. Um, really nothing like I'm I'm a too ex excited about. I guess Google was like the one. Um, what did Tesla do? I don't get open. All right, let me get my broker up. There is an error with login. Awesome. And now I'm going to get out. Awesome. Yeah, because of Theta, I'm still slightly red here. So, Warren and Tanner. Um, Google with a big dumpy. So, Apple came inside. This is kind of what I was. So, this is what I want to see like a break so let's see if we can i just don't want to play this initial kind of you know break and back in right i want to see some acceptance google need a rip boeing as well and just need some acceptance Really bet that gap's going to close, isn't it? I'd love to see a pullback. On Apple. I don't know if we'll get it, though. Tesla basically took away all the profits I had for the day. And the gap up. Awesome. I hate Theta. I don't know if we'll get a pullback. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, hey, this is playable, right? That's te technically triple line, but it's just hard to identify if that was A plus or not. Let's see. 
let's see if we can actually get some acceptance and um kind of see what happens there was another one i was looking at uh, nvidia nothing really amd is fine amazon was a no right Let's see kind of what can happen here. I'm going to get it ready, but I'm not rushing into that. It's going to see. AMD. Yeah, kind of the same thing. I was just uh, can't really get a good rotation, but you could play the line. To the middle line, like something like this, maybe. Quick scout. Could be playable. I just don't like that demand blocking us right there. I'm going to try this. Let's see. One thing I don't like is take out that high kind of change in trend. We'll see though. Put my OCO in. Google did Google pump up yet? Yeah, Google Google can play the upside. Kind of cost too much. Oh, we'll see what happens. It's probably going to be an L. My guess. Should have waited a little bit longer. <clears throat> yeah, probably an L. What's annoying though is that Tesla's not going with it. We'll see. Probably should have waited for aggressive selling, trying to push this back out, but. Loss should be minimal. It's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a loss. Um, but it should be minimal. Yep, hit my stop. <laughs> that was a fast loss. Those are, those are good, though. Yeah, that was just a bad trade. Let's see if we can get Google. Kind of make up for that. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about, right? Like, I was like, well, it's kind of leery because of X, right? And I think that's X is kind of what happened. So unfortunate, but see if we can get, so obviously we need, we'll, we'll need a stop, but I think it's solid. 
the reason why I played this is because I was playing this as a potential stop hunt. Um, which at the end of the day, it clearly wasn't. So, and that's just fighting trend pretty hard. Um, here there's our pullback. So if we can get, if we can break in, let's see if we can get a good risk reward there. Let's see if we can form some demand. But that is good. That's a good sign. Now, if only Tesla could come up. Kind of for, I'm kind of irritated that I couldn't get out of market open. Because I wasn't logged into my broker. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tesla, not what? Yeah, Google's going to be hot. If we get in the second we break that high. I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to be able to have a stop of right, but that is aggressive buying, bro. Google should pop. Yes, no, let's not form a low. Well, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I ever said Te Tesla's not good for TLM. I think it'd be fine for TLM. I mean, you kind of have some, like you have a higher time frame demand there. So you want to be careful of that. I think it'd be fine for TLM though. Uh, if you take out, like take out these lows. That'd be the trade right there. You just can't make a new low. Did AMD rotate or did it dump? Yep. My stop on Tesla, I'm in a swing trade. My stop on Tesla is below these lows. I almost got stopped the other day. Yeah, I'm not doing TLM. On Tesla. Could play Boeing too. Boeing on the break of that high. Could play that. I won't, but could play that. Sorry, let me take that up. Apple's going to rotate now, watch. Freaking always happens, bro. It always happens. It's stupid. I get stop on it. I play the stop on then get stop on it. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, AMD to the line would have been okay. Uh, to, to middle line. It would have been like really the only play. You don't want to target past demand. See how we're bounced. I am upset with this though. That's not good for my swing. Let's see if Google can rip. It'd be fine having Google right, right, right there. Target the upper line. It's right there. Make it nice one to one. We just need to break in. Break inside. We're we're golden. Uh, we're golden if we break inside. Have an OCO set right there. Tesla just said, no, nah, screw that gap up. There we go. Bro. Kidding me. I hate this. It's the one thing that sucks about the small account challenge is that. But, but hey. That's kind of nice because I didn't I didn't have to get filled. Let's see if we can get in. Tesla's are starting to rip, it looks like. He 
least my contracts are going up. All right, there we go. Bum 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 ba bum 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 bum. I think Boeing would be the a really solid play. My small account just doesn't have the cap to tilt for that. Because Apple costs too much. That's always upset with Apple. I could do it on my other account let's see if we kind of accept inside have this on watch you have Boeing on watch AMD with the full rotation. You guys took AMD. Honestly, I think it is fine. Similar, similar to the Microsoft yesterday, the other, the other direction, right? Fine trade. Just typically best to wait for demand to be taken out. Let's try Boeing. Let's see. Let's see what Boeing can do here. Google has some really nice potential if it can get in here. It'd be really cool if you could set like an OCO with set enter market order with a five minute close inside of the <laughs> value area low. That'd be sick. <laughs> it's like truly automate. This is this is solid. It really is. Only downside is why did we sell off so fast? Yeah, yeah, you can set that. You can like I had an I had an OCO set right there and I didn't have the buying power to complete the order on my small account, so it rejected it. Um so yeah, you can enter at price above, but you can't enter at enter after five minutes of acceptance plus above this high. That's what I'm saying. My hero tated deck down. I'm just waiting on Google. This is frustrating on Tesla, bro. Yeah, Tesla broke demand. Um, you know, I'm just in a swing, but I think Tesla TLM short like that that could that could play. Yeah, that could pay. I I really do. Um, it's just we also have demand here. So I mean, that's like a you know that's like a higher time frame demand. All right. So let's be careful of that. I know Apple's gonna rotate down, bro. I know it is. Um, spy correction. Yeah. I mean, we're that's a pretty bullish move there. Correct back to here. But yeah, that's a pretty bullish. It's a pretty bullish gap up. 
don't really ever want to short into like a 50% retracement. Like if you're playing, like you don't want to, you know. Noise. Yeah, that's what I I'll, I was kind of planning to do with Tesla and I did not in my logged into my broker. So Google might be done for. Honestly, it might be something that happens a little bit later. Um, yeah, the fake move is, yeah, shortened down. No, oh, yeah, yeah, Rob, absolutely, yeah. You definitely could. We, we, Definitely. That's why I think Apple will end up rotating. We may not. Let's pop back out. Let's go, baby. Maybe that's see like Google's lagging. Something's going on with Google. Remember Microsoft did that yesterday too? We have news today. We got some speakers. Nothing nothing's too important. But yeah, with the market just ripped and Google stayed still. Yeah, B BA I think is good, really. I, I think it's good. We stop right here. Nice little minimal risk. Nice one to three and a half hour trade. Be okay. Um, again, worry about you should have to worry about the spreads with that. Right. And and personally, I, I would like to see some some aggressive buying, you know, to, to get in. But um, yeah, Tesla ripped just went crazy. what i need baby let's get up to 172 but it's really weird that google did nothing it's actually going it's relatively weak it's the only red stock relative weakness so spy is not in supply right now the depends on what you mean by supply it is in this supply yes it is in that supply kind of but we also think about what we just did, though. We also have supply here that we just took out. Right. So the probability that we'll take out the next one is pretty high, too. Right. There may be a pullback. I have it drawn. There may be a pullback. Right. But the we took out this supply. So we'll probably take this one out, too. I do look at shop a lot. And I, I talked about it before the market opened. Um, day trading wise, it's just kind of like, see how it's just kind of like weirdly choppy, but um, yesterday was a pretty big trend day. That's why I took away from it from TLM. It was a pretty big trend day. Um, I think this would be solid. Yeah, this is weird. Does that make sense on the shop though? I'd really like to see how like, so see how there's no aggressive buyers there. Like there was here, but we went right back into that demand. So typically it's a less bullish sign. I'm going to be patient here on BA. NVIDIA, nice rotation. Bro, I thought I had that on my list. Back. Boom, 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 boom. That's what you want to see. That's really solid. Thought I had that. Oh, well. Brad, did you end up taking AMD? It was, Ari, it was. Right here, this gap up. I guess I have. Go okay, right here. No, you're good, Brad. There'll be more. I. It's it's just like you know. Is there something blocking us? Right. It, there there was there was. 
Um, yep, that, that's a that's a solid demand zone. Absolutely, um, that's a solid demand. Zone. A couple ways to play it: either kind of wait for a retest and a lower time frame change in trend, or you know you could look for this demand to take out this high and then play like a fifty percent retracement after that. It's going to be a more of a swing, but something like this. You target like right there, something like that. But solid, solid move. Really, whenever we have, again, this is, yeah, I think uh, someone was looking at uh, AMD balance. Uh, Luke. I wonder if Jordan caught NVIDIA. Um, let me get back to that in a second after looking at Amazon. Yeah. Yep. High, low, higher, high, lower, low. Yep. Yep. It is a change in trend, but again, lower probability, right? So you need another confirmation. If you had another confirmation, you're good to go. Um, let's look back at this. Uh, let's look at Google. Yeah, nothing happened at Google. Boeing, again, let's put like an alert right there. Uh, what was I looking at? Oh, yeah, RTY. Right, so this is like that next level stuff obviously i was not at the market i was sleeping but this is that um that next level that some people grasp early some 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 people take a little bit longer to grasp right so whenever it's about playing the formation of supply and demand okay and that that the videos in the the course talk about this um but you just have to be paying attention, but formation of supply and demand. Okay. So a lot of the things that you learn in life and in on YouTube, whatever it is, is just playing the retest and you only ever play the retest, right? That's all you play, right? What we do, how we trade it, right? Is on the formation, right? So whenever we have, again, pairing market structure with it, whenever we are trending, right? And we have an explosive move, right? And we get the lower time frame change in trend, right? Even though we may not have a 30 minute demand zone retest, right? What does this move do, right? Again, we have high, low, lower high, lower low break, right? Look at that. Right. And then you obviously, I don't know if this trade is something you would have taken, but it could have been right. You just need a solid target. Uh, you could target, we have supply up in here, target below it. Right. Nice little two R trade. Right. But you see it. So we didn't really bounce from a 30 minute demand. Right. Well, I mean, we kind of did, but, um, but it's about like, I don't even need to know there's buyers here to know that there's buyers here and I'm playing the breakout. Right, I'm playing the change in trend right there. Again, the formation of demand. Uh, do you guys see that? Does that make sense? Yes or no? I'll get it when I watch again. Uh, so the reason why it's so important is because, again, if you're looking for this trade specifically, right, you start to be, you start to realize, oh, we already hit my target. If we come back into this demand zone that just formed, but we were unable to take out supply, how do I know that, that sellers aren't in control now, right? Again, that's when you wait for lower time frame confirmation, right? But you can play the initial formation. And, and in my opinion, it, it wins much more. 
Um, I mean, win rate's fine regardless. Maybe it's maybe it's more of a mental thing, right? It's it's less waiting, right? Um, so you're less likely to overtrade. But at the end of the day, you can have a very profitable system trading not on the retest, playing on the breakout or the change in trend, right? And then, like we teach in the in the strategy in the course, right? That retest of the lower time frame demand can come after we change trend, right? As long as we don't hit target, we pull back and then we can take this entry, right? But again, early on in your, especially when you go through the course, you're always thinking retest, retest, retest. I mean, really the best way to play it is formation and then, then this is where you enter just at demand. It did break structure on the one, five minute, but we hit your target relative to this trade. Right, Zach? We are in supply now. So the only way we actually have a change of trend or break of structure based off this demand for a 50% retracement is if we want to target up to this high, right? Therefore, we need this high to break, right? You see how I'm more zoomed out? Again, market is the market is moves in sections, right? So this is a section, right? This is a section, right? See that? See how the, how it's different, right? So if I want to target the top of this section, I need price to get inside of it, basically take out these highs, pull back fifty percent and then push higher, right? When I want to target this sec section, the high in this section, let me just draw another one. I need the high in, I need price to go out of this section. And then if I don't enter at the break, wait for a pullback before we're out of that section or before we hit the top. Does that make sense? Does seeing it that way help? Honestly, screw Tesla. That's all I got to say. But. Good. Did Amazon. I mean, yeah, with Amazon, just be careful because it. we need another confirmation and higher time frame trends up. So just be careful. Oh, that would have been nice, man. And NVIDIA too. I just took the one bad apple. Well, I'm still in the swing. So it, it's banned until I get out of the swing. <laughs> Which I wanted, to, I was going to get out this morning, but I didn't have my freaking broker up and we just dumped because I was busy building the pre-market plan. Oh crap, I didn't even send it out to the Freedom team. L on Apple. Nike rotated out. That's right, baby. <laughs> Back off the watch list until tomorrow. Yeah, Nike was solid, dude. Nike was really good. It was just... I mean, it worked. I was just saying, it worked really good. It's kind of hard to tell. We even had the double bottom confirmation, man. Come on, what am I doing? I just want like a pullback would have been nice. Come on. Yeah. They're down a lot over the past year. 
22 percent to one year price target would be bad honestly probably not a bad buy I've never really used these tools here on the bottom right. It's crazy that like this is a strong buy and it's it's just been on a tear. But Microsoft's been so strong. Honestly, the best way to quote unquote invest is just Dollar cost average, bro. Investing is time in the market, not timing. Trading is timing. Do something. Yeah, rough, rough day, honestly. I had a feeling. Hey, but you know what that means? Whenever the market sucks, that means the next day is going to be freaking good for TLM. <laughs> so, but it's Friday. Gosh dang it. Contracts suck on Friday. It's crazy, bro. They still expect 10 more percent rise. Microsoft's crazy, bro. Apple's a good buy too right now, in my opinion. But yeah, they expect, yeah. This is cool. Earnings per share. Can I do annual? There we go. Increasing revenue year over year. Yeah, really good. Really good buy. Does NVIDIA have a higher price target? Not really. 7%. What's Nike look like? Yeah, increasing revenue. Let's see if their dividends are increasing. Always in my home. <laughs> no, that's not it. Where's the extra letters? Twenty two, uh, maybe. I don't think that's higher than the rate of inflation, though. That's the thing you want to look at whenever you're looking at dividend growth. I really just need to create that newsletter. <laughs> you want to look for dividend increase payouts that are higher than 2.5% or 3%, the rate of inflation, right? That's what you want to see. Um, I don't know if that is... 22 times or divided by 5%. Nope. Nope. 22 times 5%. Is a 0.22 times. Yeah. It's about, it's about, so 5% of 22 is 0 0.01, so 23. So yeah, I think it is a dividend growth. So Josh, you're bearish on Apple. I think it's time to buy. I think it's time to buy then. <laughs> Just kidding. Um... No, I believe it. 
I believe it. Trading is just different. Trading is all emotional based. And so it's system based. Strategy plus execution. Hey, yo. There's the ripper. I'm also in the AMD swing. It's not looking too hot either because of that. I think I haven't, I haven't told May though, the end of May. So I don't know why my thing's not on there anymore. I must have erased it, but I, I got in at, it was at 9.30 one day. I remember plotting it yesterday on a call. I think I got in right here after that stop on, cause I got stopped. I wasn't, I wasn't here. I got stopped out. I got back in my trades like this. Only down 12%. So like nothing, but they really just stayed. I mean, basically at a break even entry price, but theta a little bit, but I have until the end of May. So I seen it needs need a nice run up. That's a good sign there on the one hour. You kind of have that. I mean, you, you, you guys, you kind of have that. What do you have? High. Low. Lower high. Lower low. Break. 50% pullback. Boom. Huh? Huh? Did anyone take it? Too late now, but. Uh, uh. Honestly, I'm just ready for tomorrow now. And if only I still had my Marvel runners. Just kidding. That was a good trade, though. This is a good. Uh, this is a good dividend stock too. A B B B. Um, payout ratio is a little too high. You'd like to see that below, uh, below 100, really in the mid 20s. McDonald's is one I'm eyeing too. Um, I'm just gonna try to get the right time to get in. I think their growth for dividends is like right at inflation, maybe a tiny bit above, but I don't think McDonald's is going anywhere and they're super undervalued right now. Um, in terms of price action, not in terms of a company, uh, but this is my dollar cost average zone, so I'm waiting for price to get back in here. We'll start dollar cost averaging. Net. What are you looking at in, in net, Bobby? Oh, AMD. I was, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Yeah, Rob, AMD has been in a good balance. Luke posted a really good chart on uh, Slack. In Slack. Swing potential for net. Okay, let's look at it. Are you thinking, is it supply and demand? Is it balance? Is it, um, what, are you, what are you looking at specifically? And I guess how long term of a swing Like, are you thinking target new highs, like leap? Or are you thinking kind of play, you know, something like this, target like that next high? What are you thinking? I think it looks looks good. You can play something like that. It uh, looks really good, honestly. On a daily chart, I would kind of say, okay, the, the most recent high that made the last low is down in here. So that's kind of our change in trend. That's our high. We have a strong low, you know, on the daily chart right there. So you could Potentially play something like this. It's right at that demand zone. 
target maybe right there, 1.37R. It's right at that demand. So are you look are you looking smaller time frame than what I'm looking at here? Are you looking closer? I think it's solid. You have ninety-seven point seven record structure. Yeah, you're you're looking a lot smaller, huh? You're like using this as you're using like ninety as your stop. I mean, like this would take fifty one percent. This would take this would be like a shares play. So you're 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 thinking like a few days. I'm looking at it like I'm going to be in it for the next six months. Okay, um, okay. Let's look at it from that perspective. All right, it's all right. So, so our high that created this low is here, right? I think that's where you had 97.7. You had a little, you had it here, I think, 97.77 or maybe. Yeah, right, right there. Bingo. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. It can be either one of those. It could even be this one for all I care. Um, do we have that change in trend in place, right? Really, if this is your trade, your stop would go down here. Right. You could have also had your stop here, right? Based off this time frame. All right. But really that makes your break structure down here. But you could have. You would have got stopped out. But that's your trade target. You said 101. But you're you're using this supply now. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Let me just look at this. Let me just let me just like cut that off. Kind of have some equal highs here. Right? We have low uh, no 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 don't. Yeah, we're breaking that. So we we're taking out that supply, stop below the low. You want to target either target the high. Let's say you, let's say you just target one one hundred point six seven. Right? If this is your trade, what you need to wait, well. No, no strong low. What you need to wait for is just a 50% retracement. Right in here. Get a nice one of the two R trade. That's kind of what you want to wait for. But I think it looks good. Oh, yeah, I think it looks good. The only thing is kind of like downtrend here. Do you see how the change in trend we have marked doesn't really change you know, this trend down or really even like this trend down. See that? Not a big trend line guy, but do you see that? Right. That's the only thing you want to be mindful of. But since you're targeting here, it's okay. Again, market moves in section. If you were targeting up here, what needs to happen, right? You need to see this high get taken out, pull back, you know. But since you're targeting here, you can really shrink it down. And I think with a 50% retracement, kind of back into demand right here, you have a really solid trade. You could even target right below that too, 99.26. Could be pretty solid. Could be potentially really good. What, the thing I just made? <laughs> what I just talked about? <laughs> but I'll have Jordan put it in the course. <laughs> hmm. 
It's that perfect TLM trade. It's gonna it's gonna sweep these lows. Again, though, you, you want to play the break of structure when price is, or the change in trend for shorts when price is at highs, right? If this is our marketplace, right? And price is up here. No one's buying, right? So price goes lower. We get down here. That's when buyers step in. Price pushes higher, right? Demand is hotter, right? If we fall out of this, you really don't want to just blindly get short. Unless if there's something else telling you, hey, I'm going to get short. If you're waiting, but if we break structure to the downside, you don't want to get long. You just You would want to look for demand bounce which we already did and you'd want to see that demand take out a high right so if you were taking this trade specifically right i really don't i mean you maybe have a high low high if you really shrink it down demand bounce strong low break right it would have been a loser but if this is your change in trend right there stop below the strong low you're targeting the high right it doesn't even have your risk to reward you could have waited for a pullback. Well, you still would have been a loser, right? Because why? Because our higher time frame, right? But yeah, if we, it'd be literally perfect if we swept, swept the lows. Just gonna just go boom, 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 boom. boom. That's what you want to see. Again, formation, formation of demand. And Tesla was doing good. Come on, bro. I want your guys' guesses. What's your price target for Tesla in a day? What do you think it will close at? Mike, I'm going to say it's going to do this. Boom, boom, boom. Close like it right there. Maybe. We'll see. I'm at what sucks is yeah, I, th I think my fill is kind of 166.46. Bro, no, heck no. It's way too low. We need that 172. Yes, go 173. That's what we need. I'm probably just going to close it in a day regardless because it's been too long. I don't want to close it. I don't want to move into Friday. All their close at 172 or in a day. Go short, Josh. Go short for me, please. Yeah. So, oh, for one today on Apple, but I got the swing. Um, what I do like about this is it didn't end up rotating. So it makes me just know I was wrong. Um, and it's less of a sour taste in my mouth. Um, AMD swing, not looking good. Uh, still got time though. Everything else kind of just flat. But tomorrow should be a solid day. Um, I could potentially go live tomorrow too. Um, I could probably do that. No, but I think this would be a solid, like, short-term swing trade if we do sweep and come back up, target up to here, or even here. I think that could be solid. Let's look at it. You kind of need, you would need, it's nice, nice to have one more pullback before we broke structure, but. At this current moment, it would be boom, 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 not like that. But... Triple bottom.
Don't sleep on Google either. Um, Google will probably be a play tomorrow. Yeah, Google will probably be a play tomorrow. Could even it could even go now, but Yeah, it's probably just gonna be flat though. Well, do you have any other questions today? Yeah, tomorrow maybe bumpy NFP. Not farm barrel. Is that in the morning? Yeah. This is Eastern time, yeah. I could see us moving lower in the market. Kind of do for a nice, healthy pullback. Let me see this. Would you guys, so you guys that are watching, would you guys like it if I made a newsletter that went over my long-term buys and why? I really want to. I think it'd be so fun. I think it'd be so fun. Is there, here's a here's everything that is there. You guys want it? Waste management is my newest buy. I want to keep buying more. Super undervalued. My opinion. FIS. This is the uh, again, just something I'm kind of bullish on from a price action perspective. Um, really, I got in about right here. Vu have a ton of Vu. Yeah, VICI has been dollar cost averaging to that. My buddy works at this company, so I own that. But no, I definitely think I will. Um, what I'll do is I need to figure out the logistics behind it and what soft, what send out service I want to use. So much work, <laughs> but it, it would be fun. It would be fun. But yeah, um, I got three, at least I got three subscribers. So yeah, I definitely, um, definitely will start it. <laughs> um, but no, other than that, y'all, you, you guys take care. Again, holding holding the Tesla swing, go to close end of day, no matter what. Um, that's a fact. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be out. Well, hopefully it's at 172 target, but I'll be out of it regardless. And um, other than that, you guys take care. Good luck. with the rest of your day and I can probably hop on a live tomorrow if you guys want me to, but yeah, see y'all.